shaving for my sister. She's not up yet. We are doing our Christmas baking, and this is what we have so far. That's literally it. We just got finished. And then we have and we have all of this stuff. And it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. That's kinda it. I'll do a little bit more when we're done. So this morning my mom has been baking some yummy treats and the house smells so good. And then she asked me to clean the bathroom. I started cleaning at the bathroom like a normal person would be who needed to clean the bathroom. And for whatever reason, all of a sudden, I was like out of breath and I felt like I was going to faint. I was like, I literally thought I was going to faint. Like, I thought I was going to go bye-bye. So I came in my room and sat down immediately. Because I know the drill. I have dysautonomia. I have POTS. I also have anxiety. So it can be any one of those three. So I'm not sure what that's about because I took my blood pressure. It was a little low, but not low enough to, like, where, like, that would happen. Like, it was weird. So I don't know if it was POTS or just a random dysautonomia thing. It was just... It was weird, too, because as soon as I sat down, I was like, I caught my breath again. It was really weird, and I'm really glad I sat down because I do, did not want to faint, and I still don't want to faint, so I have no idea what that is about or why that happened, so now I'm going to try to be really careful today with how long I stand up and how much I do, because if my body does that... Sometimes that just means I need to take a chill day. Um, but my mom and brother and I and my little brother's friend came over. They went to go to the store, I believe. Yeah, they went to go to the store. And I've just been chilling, just watching some Netflix and watching some Hawaii Five O. So yeah. That's what's going on right now. Since I talked to you guys last, I took a shower and then I just ate lunch. I had a burrito. It's the only thing that's on this in my gut for some reason today. I just, I don't have a, like, I have an appetite, but at the same time, I don't. But it's not like an app day where my appetite is gone. It's weird. I am sorry, guys. My brother's friend's mom came to pick him up. So that's why the clip ended abruptly. But I'm going to show you. Oh, I wish they could smell. I wish there was like a smell button so they could smell the yummy smells. My mom has took been a, baking I took a video so basically all day. I heard I haven't watched it yet. You can watch the video if you want. This is peppermint. Wait, what? Is this peppermint bark over here? Both In both of the pants? Peppermint bark. Yep. And then Christmas pound cake. Christmas pound cake. Cranberry cake, right? Cranberry cake. If you are curious of what we do with all of these yummy treats. We don't eat any of them. Yeah, we actually don't eat any. We have separate baking days. But, for example, I'm making it confusing. Today's baking day is stuff for my dad's work. So, and the neighbors. And the neighbors. So, we like to make goodies for our neighbors. That's a good idea. So, yes. Yeah, so, the cakes are a hit. If my mom did individual ones this year, usually she does like a full one but she didn't and then she made rice crispy peanut butter rice crispy cake stuff with Reese's peanut butter cups and we made it for one of my friends Delaney she is obsessed with Reese's and she almost cried when we gave it to her she really did she was holding it like a child I'm like don't forget to walk it <laughs> oh no is he home you gotta sign him off because okay. I'm my brother Josh is home. He just got home from school, so I need to go to open the door. Okay, so we're heading out of the house onto our street, and we're going to deliver the goodies my mom made today. You can really only see half of my face. Do you want to come say hi? Delivering. Hi. You can't see anything. Snacks and you can't see anything. <laughs> Here, nope. turn towards the light. 
And you'll be like able to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now you can actually see us. This is our yeah. gift set. We're delivering more. treats. And I'm in my wheelchair and our road is unpaved, so it's And funny. it's also like disintegrating as we see. If you under wonder what happens after I do, like I take a shower or I put away the dishes or do a chore, which by the way, I'm not faulting anyone for it. And I'm also not insinuating I will never do chores again, but good gravy am I out of breath. Yeah. Kinda caught it now, but Ooh. I don't know why, but for the past like three or four days I've been super out of breath after doing like everything. And like I've been trying to move more, I've been trying to get up and walk around, but I don't Sometimes it just happens with this anomia for no reason, and it's not fun because you feel like you're short of breath because you are. But technically, there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> but today was a good day, even though I almost passed out, even though my legs are sore, even though I've been out of breath. It's been a good day. That's what I'm grateful for. Because I know I'm not always going to have good days. And I'm just really grateful that this week I am doing good. That's what I'm most grateful for. It doesn't mean I still don't struggle with everyday symptoms. I've realized I haven't talked a whole ton about how I've been feeling the past couple of days. Um, and it's just because I experience certain symptoms every day. So like they're almost like in the background if you know what I mean. Like... They're at the back of my mind, like I don't really even notice them anymore, but other things like almost passing out, I of course notice and shortness of breath, but um, I still struggle every day. I just might not always talk about it or share it or show it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below.